Hello, I'm Svetlin Nakov from SoftUni and I'm experienced software engineer and tech trainer. And I love to teach programmers how to code. During the last 15 years, I've helped more than 100,000 of young people to begin coding, learn software development and start a job in the tech industry. Just Google my name and you'll find more about what I do as a tra technical trainer, teacher and entrepreneur. Today, I'm excited to start teaching programming and software technologies on a global scale for my growing Learn to Code community. Welcome to my free code lessons. The code lessons are not just video tutorials. They combine videos with practical coding exercises where you write code after each lesson and you learn by doing, by writing code, by fixing bugs, by learning with, from your mistakes and by coding, coding, coding because you need to practice in order to learn skills. Why do you need to practice? Because coding is a skill, it's not knowledge. It cannot be learned by watching videos. That's why after each code lesson, I'll give you a set of practical coding exercises. I will introduce you to our automated evaluation system called Soft Unit Church, where you send your code and the system tells where it is correct or not. And it's free, so everyone can use it to check their skills. Today, I will start my, this, my first lesson with a simple Java tutorial for starting with Java programmers. It's designed for absolute beginners. This will be my first lesson, so it is just a start. You can expect many more code lessons in the next few weeks, and I'll publish a series of Java lessons which follow logically one after another. So if you want to learn Java coding, just follow my lessons in the correct order. In this lesson, I will explain what is coding is, what are commands, and what is their syntax in the Java programming language. I'll show you how to write simple commands and Java programs, how to run and execute them, how to see the output. And together, we'll solve a few coding exercises to practice our new skills, because we learn skills, not just knowledge. We don't watch videos. We train ourselves to become Java developers. We shall use a free online course editor called repo.it, so you need nothing more than your laptop. I recommend to use a laptop instead of tablet or smartphone because it works better. Finally, I'll show you how to use the SoftUnit Church, our automatic code evaluation system, and how to submit your code for automated grading. Okay, let's start. Let's begin learning Java. It's easy, just follow my instructions. Welcome to coding. In this section, I will explain what coding is and how to write simple commands in Java. Together, we will write and execute a few small Java programs. We shall use the online code editor REPL.it, so you'll need nothing more than your laptop. So, what is coding? Coding means to give commands to tell the computer what to do. This is a, an example of command in the Java language. It consists of system.out.println in brackets and in quotes, hey, I'm coding. These commands consist of uh, something which tells what to do and some parameters, parameters which tells details about the command. And the command ends with semicolon. Let's go ahead and explain what is a computer program. A computer program is a sequence of commands, a sequence of lines of codes, which come one after another, like in this example. This is the first command. It tells, please print at the command line this text first command lets the second command prints the text second command and another command comes and it prints another different text 
uh, code. Third command. Texts in programming are usually uh, put in quotes, or on single or in double quotes, and parameters for the commands are usually put into brackets, which is white in, in math, expressions in math. So I want to show you in action how to write this command because it's not so complex. Uh, we shall use a very simple online coding environment called repo.it. You can register at repo.it and at this website you can write code, compile code, run code in many languages such as Java, JavaScript, Python, C Sharp and many others. I will open repo.it and if you don't have account, an account you should register. I will walk out to, to show you that you can register and here at start coding or you can just log in. I will just log in uh, with my uh, username and password and we'll continue ahead. So after registration and login, you can create a new REPL. REPL means a program or a piece of code. Okay, so we can choose Java, JavaScript, Python or some other and I'll write Java. I want to create a Java program here at RepoInt and I'll give some name, for example, uh, play with Java. It's not recommended to have spaces in the title. I click create repo and I'm ready. What you see at the screen is called uh, coding environment or developer environment or I IDE, Integrated Development Environment. Integrated because you have compiler, code editor, runner and everything integrated together. So writing comments is done here at this place and running the program is done here. Uh, in Java, we usually have some class definitions, some method definition, uh, and we'll learn later about them. But this is the place here where we put our comments. So these are some uh, things like the compiler. I will explain about compilation later and the runner of Java. So to compile this Java program, we use the Java C compiler and to run it, we use the Java command. OK, so when we run this, this is the output. Hello world. We can modify this program by printing something else. For example, hey, I'm coding and I, and I run this with this uh, button and the output is, hey, I'm coding. It needs some time to compile, but this is the output. Okay, congratulations. This is your first Java program if you repeat what I'm doing now. We can put several comments here. I can copy this and I can paste it several time, times. I need to find paste, control V. Okay, uh, it should be printed here. And I can write some second comment and I can write again system.out.out print ln like print one in quotes third command and I need to put this semicolon at the end which means that the command ends here if I forget to put this I'll have a compilation error see I remove this semicolon at the end and now I try to compile this and I'll get an error it says please put this semicolon I expect it okay so let's get back and uh, explain what is coding, how to write programs and how to use this repo with. I already demonstrated this to you. So let's continue with some several more examples, comments in Java. Uh, we can calculate expressions just like this. I can calculate the expression five plus five, which will be 10 and I can write another expression, for example, 
Uh, this website is a little bit slow, but we'll use a uh, later uh, desktop development environment and we'll solve this problem. I can multiply uh, 5 by 7 and the result will be clearly 35 uh, because I can uh, calculate any expression, mathematical expression here. For example, this will be 36. 7 multiplied by uh, 5 is 35 plus 1, 36. So we, another example of comment is to check where, whether this string contains another string and the result will be true here. Uh, for example, I can play uh, check whether the text soft you need thought contains the text you need. Okay. And this will output true because it's true that this contains the other uh, text. It, it says uh, false because this uni is not with capital letter and the string matching by default works in case sensitive mode. Okay, let's see the result here. The result now will be true. Okay, another comment is to print the numbers from 1 to 100. This is a more complex comment, which is called a for loop. We'll learn about loops a little bit later in one of our next coding lessons. But generally, we tell the computer, please repeat for i changing from 1 to 100. And for each uh, value of i, please print this i. I will demonstrate this for you. Uh, I can write for uh, int e equals 1, e less than equal 100, i plus plus. And here, at the next one, I say console, draw, uh, not console, <laughs> sorry, this is in another language, system.out.print when I when I run this small program, I will get the numbers from 1 to 100 here on the output of my program. In the next section, I'm going to explain you some basic programming concepts, such as coding, code commands, programming, computer programs, algorithms, programmers, software developers, software engineers, development environments, IDs, and few others. I will demonstrate an example of complete Java program which holds a class definition, a method definition, and a few commands inside. Okay, let's go ahead and explain what is programming. Programming means writing computer programs. And computer programs, just like this one, are sequences of commands. Some programs are small, like just five or ten commands, but some programs could be large. For example, one hundred thousand of uh, commands or one million commands. Like, uh, for example, the MS Microsoft Word uh, application, uh, the text editor from Microsoft, uh, document editor, it, it consists of uh, 10 million lines of code or maybe more. And programming is done using a certain programming language such as Java or Python. And these programming languages are typically very similar. All of them consist of commands, but the format uh, of the commands might be different and the constructions of commands might be different. What is algorithm? Algorithm is uh, the concept of describing of what the computer should do as a sequence of commands. I will need to go back. Uh, algorithm is a sequence of commands that achieve certain result. For example, algorithm uh, is implemented if you want to unlock the door. So the first step is to find your key. The second step is to put the key in the lock. The third step uh, or command is to uh, turn right the uh, key inside the lock and finally to open the door. So this is called algorithm, a sequence of commands or steps to achieve a certain result. 
Programmers implement algorithms. They write sequences of comments to achieve something. And programming or coding is performed by programmers, which are sometimes called software developers. Programmers or coders are people who write code to implement some algorithm to achieve something. For example, to implement a social network app, which, is, which takes a lot of time and a lot of effort and consists of millions of comments, which are uh, first written, then changed, uh, some bugs are fixed, and this is a complex, iterative, and uh, time-consuming process. Programmers use ID, uh, a development in environments, like IntelliJ IDEA, which I will show you later in my next series of these uh, coding lessons, or Eclipse, or other like this online REPL.it, which I already demonstrated uh, to you. So in the development environment, you can write code, you can run and test the code, and you can fix bugs. Writing the code is just to go there and, and write the code. Fixing the bugs is, for example, if this is not correct, we can start from uh, 5 to 10, and not from 1 to 100, and this is the run button. So we can do all of this, writing the code, changing the code, uh, and compiling and running this code. Compiling means to prepare the code for execution, for running, okay? So let's go ahead and uh, give you another some more complicated examples of Java programs. Uh, sequence of Java commands. This is a Java program which consists of three lines of code. The first defines the variables and uh, saves the value of five inside it. And this is int means that this is a variable of type number. Then we print the size and then we print the square area by this given side. So if we multiply this side by side, 5 by 5, will calculate the area of a square which uh, has this size 5. Let's write this program so we can say int size equals 5, semicolons to end this first comment. The second comment will be please system system dot out dot print ln print at a new line uh, this size equals plus means to concatenate or just uh, print the text and immediately after that the value of this variable size and finally we say system.out.print ln uh, area equals and here we multiply size by size okay let's run this program and see what the output will be. It will print that the size is 5, then it prints that the area is 25. The first comment has no output, this has this output, and the last comment has this output. I can also calculate like this, int area equals size multiplied by size, and then I can print area. So I made the same program but with four commands not three commands because you can achieve the same result by different sequence of common, commands. You can uh, for example I can interchange the order of these commands and the result will be the same. First I do the calculations later I print the result or I first print the area, then I calculate, I print, first print the size, then I calculate the area, and finally I print this area. And the result now will be exactly the same because this is very similar program like the previous example. Okay, this is the output we achieve, and this is a complete computer program. I already explained that the comments in the program uh, should be arranged in a class, this is defined by the Java language, and in a method. Just assume that 
all programs start with these two lines and finish with these two lines. This is how Java works. Other languages like Python and JavaScript and even C Sharp, they don't need all of this. You can directly type commands, but Java is more complex language. So we define a class which starts here with this bracket and it ends here with this closing curly bracket. Uh, in, in the class, we need to place this public, static, void, void main, bracket, string, arcs. Just type exactly the same uh, text. We'll learn, tell us about it later. And inside it, we print the comments. Comments are arranged and the white space does not matter. This is called white space. Okay, so this is the same program. Uh, Comments can be arranged differently, but usually we arrange, I will return back with control Z, usually they are arranged one after another. And when something is put inside something, uh, uh, when something is inside something else, we move it to the right with one uh, tap or two spaces or four spaces. So see, this text is put on the right or identity, how programmer says, to the right. It's not correct to put your program like this. This is bad program because it's hard to read. It's hard to understand what's inside. And if the program is bigger, it will be even more hard. So what's next? Uh, let's uh, write a, a more complex console based Java program. A program which converts a given value of United States dollars USD to Euro uh, at some fixed rate. We first, we need to create a scanner object which will allow us to read data from the standard input, from the so-called console. In order to use this scanner, we'll need to import the Java Util scanner. I will show you later. Uh, just in a moment. Next, we can tell the scanner to read the next integer, which comes from the input. And later, we make a calculation and we uh, multiply the dollars by this fixed rate. We assume that the rate is fixed and it is exactly this 0 0.88379, etc. And finally, we calculate the result. The output will be something like this, and I will demonstrate you is now. So we have the same this Java program and we say scanner scanner equals to new scanner brackets system dot in. Okay. System with S. Okay. So ne we need to import this. What does this mean? This means that this is an external object coming from an external library and we need to say import java.util.scanner. This scanner comes from this Java library. So I, I just want to use this class or this uh, command uh, from the standard Java library. Okay. Once I write this line of code, I can say, please define a, a variable euro or it dollars, okay, which is equal to scanner dot next int. Please, what how this comment works? It says scanner dot next int. Read the next integer value from the uh, user and save it into a variable, into a memory labeled dollars. This is a place in the computer memory where we put some something. And this something is an integer int. This is how Java works. Java is not the most easy uh, programming language, but it is one of the languages which, is, which are most wanted in the software industry. So if you learn Java, the chance to start a job uh, is bigger than if you learn uh, some other language. Generally, it is 
it might be different for in different countries, in different industries, but generally Java is one of the most needed software uh, programming languages in the industry. So let's continue. I say Tabo, uh, Euro equals to towers multiplied by 0 0.8837 Nine, uh, fifty, eighty-seven, fifty, eighty-seven. Okay. So why I use here double? Because this is a uh, not integer number like this one, but it is double number number which has a, a, a floating point number, which means that this is a number like this. It has a integer side and. Uh, a part which is after the uh, dot, after the decimal point. So it is a decimal number. Okay. And finally, I need to print the result system dot out dot print ln and uh, dot out dot print ln. And I'll print some text like this, which says uh, towers plus space towers is equal to plus euro plus the text euro for example i'll print something like five towers is equal to for example 4.3 euro let's start this and see what the output will be Okay, now the program is compiled, now the program is running, and here the program is stopped here at next int, and it's trying to read a number from the uh, user. So I type 5 and I press enter, and it says 5 dollars is equal to 4.418 etc. euro. I can even print something like uh, this uh, system dot out dot print without ln because I don't want to go to the new line print something like uh, enter enter uh, how many how many dollars do you have with a space, okay? And now when I run this program, it will first ask me, how many dollars do you have? And I say, I have 23 dollars. Okay, 23 dollars, this is 20.32 euro. Did you catch the idea? The idea is that we write Comments after one after another, comments, comments, another comment, and this sequence of comments is called a program. Currently, we use the Java programming language to write this Java code. These comments in Java should be encapsulated in a method, in this one, and it is encapsulated in a class. And we can import libraries just like this, and we can write these programs. We use this repoit.com as an online integrated development environment, just like designers use Photoshop and accountants use Excel. Uh, developers use integrated development environment like this one or like IntelliJ idea, which I will show you the next uh, in the next lesson. So if I have zero dollars, I'll have as well zero euro, zero point zero, because this is a decimal, not not integer, but decimal number which has the integer side and the fractional side. Now I want to show you the soft unit judge system. Soft unit judge is an automated system for code evaluation. Just send your code solution for certain coding problem and the system will tell you whether your solution is correct or not. 
and what exactly is missing or wrong. I'm sure you will love the judge system once you start using it. So uh, we can test the programs in this judge. It is located at church.softuni.org. This is a service from Softuni, which is absolutely free for everyone. And this is a link related to our Java tutorial lesson, uh, the first part where uh, you are watching this video now and the exercises are here. So you can press practice and the first uh, problem is called Hello Java. And here you can write your Hello Java code like this and achieve the some results. So the first program here called Hello Java is write a Java program which prints Hello Java. So my Java program uh, will be something like this. Print Hello Java system dot out dot print ln hello java so let's test whether this works or not it is under one because it tells that uh, i have imported this library but i don't use it and this program prints hello java i can take it copy and i can put it here for evaluation paste and i just submit this when i submit uh, this it is still not processed i can wait a bit and click this refresh and it's evaluated and it says it's correct if i write a program which is incorrect like this one hello Naku, for example this is a program which prints hello Naku. it doesn't print the correct output hello java if i take it and if i put it here for evaluation in the soft uni church church soft uni org okay and i print i submit it it, it says that the, it's successfully sent for evaluation it says it's not correct we can even see details and the details says the one zero of your output is different than what we expect we expect hello java but your program prints hello naku please fix this problem so did you understand how this works it is a very very helpful tool to uh, which we will use in our lessons because we want you to practice now it's your turn to write code please don't skip the exercises the only way you can learn to code is by coding Follow the exercises which I have prepared for you in this lesson. Write the code, submit it in the judge system, and you will get the practical skills from this lesson, not just the theory. Find the exercise descriptions and the link to judge at softuni.org. Are you ready to practice? I will show you how. Learning a skill is done by doing. If you want to uh, learn how to drive a car, you need to drive a car. That's how instructors uh, teach you or your uh, father teach you how to drive a car. He first explain you a little bit, then you do it. So the same thing happens now. I'm explaining you what is Java, what is coding, how to, how to write simple programs. And later you need to do it yourself with your hands. Otherwise you will learn nothing. To learn coding, you need to write code. That's it. It's impossible to learn coding without writing a code. It's impossible to uh, learn how to ride a bicycle without writing a bicycle. <laughs> it's impossible to learn how to swim without swimming. So you need to practice. You are learning a skill. And software companies need developers who have the skills of writing code programmers who can have the skill of writing so watching videos give you only the knowledge remember this 
it's interesting, you can sit at, at the bed and watch the videos and it's interesting, someone uh, is talking to you and you are happy, but unless you write the code, you will not get the skill. So solving the exercises I give you is the only way to practice. You need to practice to gain practical skills. So please write and submit the coding exercises which I give you. Otherwise, you will just remember some piece of knowledge and you will not get the skill. You will not become a software developer. Learning by doing is something which we do at SoftUni and tens of thousands of people already have tried this and have learned to code and most of them have started their job as software engineers. So the first problem we want to solve is to write a Java program which prints Hello Java on the console, just like this. When you are ready, you need to submit your solution in the SoftUni church. This is something which we already uh, created for you and we can put this code here, hello Java. I already wrote it and I submit it and I need to wait a bit and it says it's correct. I have 100 out of 100 points. Some coding uh, exercises might be, might be partially solved. For example, 50 out of 100 or 20 out of 100. We'll see later. The second problem is, okay, let's, let's see the solution. We already explained how this works. We already played with it. So I will go ahead. How to submit it in the judge. judge. I already demonstrated this to you. And I already demonstrated that you should press after submission. You should wait a bit and press this refresh button until the result is shown on the screen. The next problem is to calculate and print the value of the expression 5 multiplied by 5. It should be something like this. Uh, so we can take our code and modify it to print 5 multiplied by 5. The result should be 25. And we can take this code, copy, and we can put it here at this second problem, print five by five, I print submit and it gets here. I need to wait a bit and click refresh and it's accepted. I have 100 points. Okay, we can of course submit our solutions like I already did at this judge link. This is a sample solution and I can go ahead. The next problem is to print your name and the expression, the value of the expression 5 pi plus 3. This is how the output may look like and this is another example how the output may look like. If I need to solve this problem, I will print 5 plus 3 but I'll need another problem, copy, uh, another command, control V, paste, and I will print my name, which is Svetlin Nakov. Okay, let's run it and see what the output will be. It will print Svetlin Nakov at the first one and 8 at the second one. I will take this, control C, control, and C is the same like copy. It is everywhere in computers, not only in, in Java and in programming. So I'll go here, name and expressions, and we'll print this. Okay, I will have, I have this submitted, uh, successfully submitted solution, and I need to wait a bit. Oh, it takes longer than usually, and it looks like it is correct. If I print first this expression and then my name it will probably be incorrect 
and will probably uh, give me oh it accepts it this is because the checker the algorithm to check whether you are correct or not says this but if I print this one for example it will say tell me that this is a compile time error which means that you have error in your program and it's incorrect of course uh, if I don't print this expression if I print for example 3 multiplied by 20 this is incorrect solution because it will not print 8 if I submit this I'll get an error here paste submit I need to wait a bit and when I refresh in few seconds it will say your solution is incorrect so using this tool you can practice at home you can practice on your own and train your skills okay the next uh, problem is to write these calculations I will not solve this for you because I want that you write some code alone without me and the last problem is to print a square seven by seven so I will leave this previous lessons lesson for you uh, this, this problem called calculation here for you to write it yourself you need to print three commands to print this one to calculate and print this one and to calculate and print the value of this expression and the output will be something like this and the last problem for today for this lesson is to print a square of seven by seven start so stars so how you can print it is just like this print one the first start space second third fourth fifth sixth and seventh and this is a book in the code editor <laughs> it prints double quotes uh, i will take this and i can paste it seven times three four five six seven when i run this it will print this square of stars right i can submit it copy go here square seven by seven stars submit and i need to wait a bit and check whether it is correct beware that you need to have spaces here if i put if i forget to put the space here and i submit it the judge will tell me that the result is incorrect i can see the details and it says please you have somewhere here a problem okay and this is another solution it's implemented using a whoop i repeat seven times this command below this is we will learn more about whoops later but generally i can say for i starting from zero until i reaches six i plus plus at each iteration of this loop please print this again it's not necessary to understand now how loops work i will explain them in another separate lesson but the output will be the same and you can check it in the judge system the final problem for today for your exercise is to write a java java program which reads a number just like this one and which is something uh, a value in euro and by move, by using this fixed rate 1.17 dollars for one euro to calculate how many doors are there if you have for example five euro here and i will not solve all of this i have already solved a similar problem in the video but generally you need to import the scanner 
to uh, initialize the scanner from the system.in, the standard input. Later, you need to read the double value, the euros, by scan.nextdouble. Uh, in the previous example, we used scanner.nextint, which means integer number. We'll use a double number, which is something like 1.5 or 3.14. Uh, and then we calculate the dollars by multiplying the euro by a certain constant, certain fixed rate, and then we print the US dollars. And the output will be something uh, like this. I don't want to, to print it this entirely, so uh, to type it again, I will copy it just to demonstrate you how it works. So if I have five, uh, for example, uh, euro, uh, this means that I'll have 5.85 US dollars. And I can submit this in the judge. Okay, I will not give you this solution. You should write it yourself. It's not recommended to do like me to copy paste. I highly recommend that you write all of your code yourself because when you are typing the code, you will work many things. For example, that you should you need to have here a semicolon that if this is a big and not small and it will not run like this is double with small d like you should have a space here etc 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 you need to write the code yourself in order to learn programming remember that the most important activity in learning how to code is coding maybe i repeated myself several times today but it is tremendously important to do and submit your exercises and to practice what we have learned today, to develop it as a skill. Did you like this lesson? Do you want more? You could subscribe to my YouTube channel and join our learners community at softuni.org. Get free access to the practical exercises and the automated judge system. Get free help from mentors and meet other learners. Join now! softuni.org